I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the bald cypress. Bald cypress, Taxodium distichum, is one of the most distinctive southern conifers with its deciduous foliage, buttress trunk, and its formation of cypress knees. It is the classic tree of the southern swamps. It is also known as bald cypress, swamp cypress, white cypress, and tidewater red cypress. The Taxodium genus was once widely distributed in prehistoric forests of Europe and North America. However, today there are just three species native to the southeastern United States, bald cypress, pond cypress, and Montezuma bald cypress. Bald cypress is a large tree that typically grows 100 to 120 feet tall and 3 to 5 feet in diameter. It is a relatively long-lived tree that typically lives 400 to 600 years, with some reports of trees closer to 1,000 years old in virgin forest stands. It is considered a moderately fast-growing tree, reaching 40 to 50 feet tall in open landscapes in about 15 to 25 years. Trees have a pyramid-shaped crown, a cylindrical trunk, and a fluted buttressed base. Because of its attractiveness, it has been widely used as an ornamental well beyond its natural range. Bald cypress is native to the southeastern United States and is naturally found only in southwestern Kentucky along the Mississippi, Ohio, and Green Rivers. It grows in permanently wet, swampy type areas, wet and seasonally inundated soils in low-lying areas typically less than 100 feet above sea level. Cypress swamps and other forested wetlands that receive periodic nutrients from floodwaters are considered some of the world's most productive ecosystems. Bald cypress knees develop from lateral roots that rise into a cone-shaped structure, and the knees vary in height depending upon water level. The function of the knees is, is unknown, but many consider them to assist in supplying oxygen to submerged root systems. Knees are less likely to form in the absence of flooding or standing water. When planted in the landscape, bald cypress can be grown on many upland soils. Bald cypress is considered intermediate in shade tolerance with best growth under direct overhead sunlight. Bald cypress is a deciduous conifer that has small, linear, flat, needle-like leaves. They are usually a quarter of an inch to three-fourths inches long and are usually two-ranked, which is a leaf arrangement where the leaves on the stem are arranged in two vertical columns on opposite sides of the stem, kind of like a feather. The branchlet structure resembles a feathery compound leaf. The soft, needle-like leaves emerge in early spring and are green to yellow-green, darkening during the growing season. In the autumn, leaves turn russet or copper-colored before being shed. The tree is monoecious, meaning one house, and so that means that a tree will have both male and female flowers. The male flowers are in drooping panicles that are about 3 to 5 inches long. The female flowers are almost globe-shaped with small extending scales which occur near the end of the branches. The pollen is shed between March and April, and flowers are wind pollinated The fruit is a three-fourths to one-inch globe-shaped cone. The cones are composed of scales, and they look like a woody brown sphere with rough surfaces. Each cone has 9 to 16 five-sided scales that typically have two irregular triangle-shaped seeds. The seeds have a thick, horny coat. They turn from green to brownish-purple as they mature in October to December. As they mature, the cone can disintegrate, releasing the seeds or drop to the ground. The dropping of mature cones is occasionally hastened by squirrels, which eat the seeds. Streams and moving water are the most important means of seed dispersal. Trees produce seed every year with good seed crops every three or so years. Bald cypress can also reproduce by sprouting. Bald cypress is one of the few conifer species that sprout. The bark is somewhat variable, but typically thin and fibrous. It's kind of red and brown in color. It may be gray where it's um, overly exposed to the weather. It has a kind of interwoven pattern of narrow, flat ridges and narrow furrows that peel off in long strips. In older trees, the bark may appear somewhat scaly. The fibrous bark provides a nice winter appeal when the tree is without its foliage.
The wood of ball cypress is yellowish brown with nearly white sapwood. Occasionally some boards will have scattered pockets of dark wood that have been attacked by fungi and this is called pecky cypress. The wood of old growth bald cypress is rated as very durable to decay but wood from younger trees is rated moderately durable. Cypressine, a naturally occurring preservative oil in the wood, is believed to give bald cypress heartwood a high decay resistance. Bald cypress is a relatively important wildlife tree. The seeds are eaten by wild turkeys, squirrels, evening grosbeaks, and wood ducks, and they are a minor part of the diet of other waterfowl and wading birds. The yellow-throated warblers also forage in the Spanish moss and the resurrection fern that grow in the trees. In addition to providing food, the trees provide nesting sites for bald eagles and osprey, and the prothonotory warblers nest in the cavities of the knees. Catfish spawn in submerged hollow logs, and generally, bald cypress dominated ecosystems are typically rich in wildlife diversity. The wood is used for construction, particularly exterior construction, interior trim, veneer, planking in boats, river pilings, shingles, cabinetry, and even unique furniture. The trees are widely used in landscaping, and it's a source of the popular cypress mulch, which is used by gardeners and landscapers. The national champion bald cypress is in West Valencia, Louisiana. It is 626 inches or 52 feet in circumference. It's 91 feet tall with an 87 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion bald cypress is in Woodford County. It's 127 inches in circumference, 100 feet tall with a 62 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about bald cypress. Bald cypress is a state tree of Louisiana. The seeds of the bald cypress were once an important food source for the now extinct Carolina parakeet. Cypress swamps help to maintain high regional water tables and they can also be used to provide advanced wastewater treatment for small communities. The extensive root system along with the buttressed base make bald cypress wind firm in soft wet soils. Even winds of hurricane force rarely overturn them. The oldest living bald cypress tree identified is more than 1600 years old according to a research study published in the Environmental Research Communication Journal. As of 2019, the tree was growing along the Black River in the state of North Carolina. The genus name Taxodium is from the Latin of the yew tree Taxus and Greek idios which means similar to. The species name Distichum is from the Greek di which means two, and stichos, which means rank, referring to the two ranked leaves. Thanks for joining me to learn about the bald cypress. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the beauty of the bald cypress.